Ladies and gentlemen, we continue the tournament with an international contest at lightweight, six rounds of five minutes duration, with the best two from three falls or submissions, one kill to decide the win. Introducing to you in the red corner, we have the belt holder from Bradford, Jimmy Briggs. And in the blue corner, now domiciled in London, a warm welcome please for Zoltan Boschik. Yes, Zoltan Boschik, formerly of Budapest, Hungary, now domiciled in Hendon, Middlesex, at 10 stone 9. The <laughs> and that Jimmy Brakes has just been handed a baby's comforter by one of the ringside seniors and they all call him Baby Brakes because he uh, they call him Cry Baby and stuff like this often well this is backing that statement up I guess no, he doesn't like it too much. Anyway, there he is on the left. Jim Brakes, the present title holder. Take it away. First round. Jim Brakes in the dark trunks. The British and European lightweight champion against Zoltan Boschik, the former Hungarian, the ex-lightweight champion of Great Britain. He got the championship for quite a while, soon after his naturalization papers came through, but Brakes has now got it back. This, of course, is not a title box, but it just happens to be a bout match made by Ernest Lofthouse. And more warnings already by Brakes. Started off badly with that comforter being handed to him. A match made by Ernest Lofthaus for Morell and Beresford promotions. Not a title bout, but it's our main bout here at the afternoon at a very packed Victoria Bowers in Nottingham. long rabbit hole that was forced off by Brakes, but Brakes not taking too much notice of the ropes break there. Falcon Down, Monday at 4.30 on Movies for Men. Very neat counter by Boschek. And a special brakes of move there, almost used on brakes himself. Boschek had it three quarters there. Double turn out of that side headlock. For Nelson Boschek. Brakes going down now, all the way to the canvas, for some reason. Whether he's wise or not, we don't know. It's a shoulder press is on. Arm lock now held by Boston. Nice turn by Brakes. Oh, slept by Boston again. Beautiful counter. And there's the final one. Beautiful counter, neat counter moves by both men there, ending with a fast whip that Brakes did not like. A couple of minutes to go in round one. Oh, my God. 
obviously in the mood this afternoon to argue with everybody, referee and ringside seniors. Except for a neat bit of ground wrestling just now, this is a pretty slow first round of a six round bout. Half a minute left. Somebody shouted something that uh, Briggs didn't like. <laughs> right on the bell of round one. <laughs> yes, Jim Briggs pointing out to the referee there. There was somebody shouted something that put him off and made him release. He's still beefing about this. An upsetting afternoon so far for Jim Brace, but with people shouting at the wrong moment and handing him dummies. I don't think he's going to be in too good a mood. Second away, second round. Round two, five rounds to go. No score, two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this lightweight contest. <laughs> Whatever Briggs was going to do then, he was too late doing it. Bostic felt it coming and got in there first. And there looks like a Briggs special. One of Briggs' own special holes there being operated on him for the second time. And Bostic tried to muse at the possibility of getting a Briggs special on Briggs. Beautiful shoulder wrench. <laughs> Feigning trouble, of course, in Ghost Iron. Now he's worried about his teeth again. Mind you, once, fairly recently, he, at Leicester, he was worried uh, quite rightly. He handed me a couple of them in the middle of the round. Not clean out, but it wasn't by Boston. <laughs> and a counter move, slow and deliberate, but it works. When it's timed right. And a headlock and strangle again. Not with any real strangle holds, a double headlock really by Brakes, but it's typical of him to operate it this way. trying his own form of sleeper, but it didn't work. And the double arm stretch with a vengeance there. Leaning right back on the posture. Into luck. Had it chopped just on its way when Briggs saw it. Got away from those ropes pretty fast. And again, real trouble, but now how much is he feigning? Quite a lot. He hoped that Bostic was going to walk towards him there. Didn't fall for it. Another 
great special being operated on him, or almost similar, and it could wind up in a Bostic special, the three and one. He's got the opposite arm lever, the great find. Can he get the left leg behind the neck? He couldn't quite get the third movement. Several people seem to be shouting at breaks from somewhere, but I think it's mostly from a lady up in the balcony. There she is, that's the lady with glasses there. I think she's the one that's uh, de delivering most of the abuse. A minute to go in a second. Double arm from the front by Bostic. That's more the speed we expect breaks. He didn't come off, but at least it was a speedy move. That's the third time he's tried that. This time it almost worked. Half a minute. has got that single interlock on. He's got a straight arm, left arm. I don't think he's got time to deliver it anyway, and there comes the three-in-one effort by Boschik, the folding press, but it didn't work, and the bell will save breaks anyway. Zoltan Bostic's favorite move, of course. I'm sure grappling fans will know it. It's just to remind anybody else that he gets the grapevine on the leg, the opposite arm lever in a very definite straight arm, and then his left leg, which is the only limb free he's got then, over the back of the neck of his opponent. This very often gets him a submission. Let's see if he tries it. Seconds away, round. Round three, four rounds to go. No score. Jim Brakes versus Zoltan Bostic. Two of the top lightweights in the country. The champion and the former champion. Brakes in the darker trunks, the dark blue trunks, being the reigning champion of Britain and Europe in the lightweight class, which is up to 11 stars. How soon Brakes will try his special. A hold which is practically impossible to describe. It's, he curves the armor the way he holds the hand. The arm is curved and it often gets a submission. The back shot and the way over. There's nothing wrong with his shoelace, I don't think. But he's going to pretend there is. <laughs> it's a neat trick of Bostic. He goes in for a folding press. And there it is. The first one to the contender in one minute, 25 seconds of the third round. Bostic gets the first one. So 
Foster gets the first one on a perfectly good wrestling move. Now, we can't hear really what he's saying. Jim Brakes just beefing generally. He's one fall down, whether he likes it or not, and with round four coming up. So, Brakes in the dark trunks, leading Bostic by one fall to nil. And again, we and Bostic going to try the same trick, but this time he didn't, didn't work. <laughs> Can't work it twice. It shouldn't be that loose anyway, the covers at the side of the ring, on the apron here. I've never seen them so loose. And Brace Porton is on trick there almost. Often seen him counter the folding press like that. And Bostrick has done just that this time to him. He's having a certain amount of trouble breathing, apart from anything else. Hand right over his nose and mouth. Joe Hill, the referee, is right there watching points like that. I've got a grab of the year, then. Still, Bostic calmly tries to take him the double arm. Doesn't work, but he tries it. And that's when Bostic acts. Didn't move when he was faced on, but when he's back to canvas, he moves fast. Bostrick looking as though he could spring a surprise here. He's, he's leading by one fall, and he's got a public warning brace for that first. So in the fourth, Brakes gets his first public warning. And now Bostrick with that left arm in trouble, comes forward, right arm only. <laughs> and a single finger in a lot did that, stopped him in his tracks. And there's the great find by Bostic. The opposite arm lever, but he still hasn't succeeded in getting the left leg behind Brake's neck. He knows what to expect from Bostic, and he's not going to allow that if he can possibly help it. I think if Bostic gets that on, it could be the winner. There's the break special again, worked on him, but not effectively. Just a minute left in the fourth. Come on, Joe. Stop down, get him down, I'll count him. Stop down, how many shoulders does he have, Joe? Just show him that. One! Two! One! Two! Still that one. Throw. If you turn exactly right, <laughs> but he doesn't know. <laughs> the backhammer far 
are up there. They're just trying to hold on with just eight seconds left. If we can go over to the left a little, there we are. We can see Sandra, a young lady called Sandra, wearing a pair of earphones. The idea was our director, Tony Parker, giving her a pair of phones because this young lady is unsighted. And she can understand a great deal more, of course, if she's got the phones on. So I'm sure she's enjoying it. She can hear what I say now, of course, which is why she's grinning all over her face there. Incidentally, as they start round five, Bostic leading breaks the champion by one fall to nil with one public warning against breaks in the darker trunks. And young Sandra there, that little, our little blind friend, she can tell me more about a wrestling bout that she says she's seen than anybody I know, I think. She never forgets a single move of a wrestling bout. It's really quite something. She'll probably remember all about this one because she looks so excited during it. Two rounds to go then. And it's breaks the champion after the equalizer here. A lot of people, when Bostic got this first fall in the third round, were shouting easy. But I don't know if Bostic's going to find it that easy. Have an unhappy afternoon breaks all together so far. As things are not just going for him at the moment. And that was a landing right in the backhand position. Left arm of Bostic's going through the back of his bout, but it seems to come back into action pretty fast. And each time now, Breaks is aiming that throw from the chancery so that, Brick, so that Bostic's legs, back of his legs, hit the ropes. And following up with the Boston Crab, this could be a submission, and it is. Quick. Equalizing submission to breaks in two and a half minutes, exactly halfway through round five. So one each now, one fall to Bostic, one submission to breaks, and Neil Soden coming to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, round five with a Boston Cup submission. The equalizing submission to Jimmy Blake. Well, I've seen Blake's complain when he's got to fall against him. But never when he's just got the equalizing fall. Anyway, there's one round to go. Second to away, six and last. And whether Breaks is happy or not, he's got to go now. Breaks in the dark trunks versus Bostic. One fall each. One public warning against Breaks. Final round. Both men obviously going to try for their special submission holds. In this final round. And it's my guess that the one that gets it will be the one. Grab it, break. 
Rich. Great throw off. And Breach left knee in trouble from that landing. And Bostrick sees it and goes for it. Reverse great find right behind the back, leaning back on it. And just lost his balance. And looks like a break special here. There it is. There it is, the break special. The one that Bostrick was working on him and the lift from it. And he's got the submission. Yes, there it is, the winning submission in just over a minute. One minute, ten seconds of the final round. So the champion wins against the leading contender by two to one. Two submissions, incidentally, to one fall. In round six, with the Jim Drake special submission, the winning submission,